Hello world, I am Nelvin Batalia and welcome back to my channel, it's Master Nelvin TV. So in this video, we are going to discuss about sorting techniques in data structures and algorithm. So I'm going to share to you my knowledge about sorting techniques. Okay, we'll proceed. So there are six sorting techniques, namely the bubble sort, the selection sort, the merge sort, the insertion sort, quick sort, and last but not the least is the hip sort. So among the said sorting techniques, We'll just be picking two to be discussed. And it's gonna be bubble sort and insertion sort. Let's first define what is sorting. So sorting refers to the operation or technique of arranging and rearranging sets of data in some specific order. The records are either sorted either numerically or alpha numerically. The records are then arranged in ascending or descending order depending on the numerical value of the key. So we will now proceed about to a bubble sorting. So what is bubble sort algorithm? It is used to arrange number of elements in intended order. So the two values will get interchanged in this way and all the elements of the aggregate compared as the process continues. Okay, bubble sort compares two adjacent elements and swap them until they are properly ordered. The working of the bubble sort algorithm or sorting is just like the movement of air bubbles. So what we can see air bubbles in the water that rise up to the surface each element of the array moved to the end in each iteration therefore it is called a bubble sort okay we have no idea what is bubble sort so how do bubble sort works number one starting from the first index compare the first and the second elements number two if the first element is greater than the second element, they are swapped. Now compare the second and third element. Swap them if they are not in order. The above process goes on until the last element. Let's have an example. So here's our algorithm. Number one, start. Number two, we will sit list equal number of elements equals 5 for i less than minus 1 to index of last unsorted element minus 1 if left element greater than right element swap left element to right element and if and for and the process goes on until to the last element. After the process, it will, it will return to least. It will be the uh, list of the sorted elements of the array. And it will end the bubble sort. So our initial array values is negative 2. 45, 0, 11, and negative 9. Let's proceed. Let's proceed to the first step. So we will compare the adjacent elements. Here, all our 
Our algorithm compares the first two elements. We will start comparing from index 0 to index 1. So, what I mean here, our index 0, the value of index 0 is equals to negative 2 and index 1 is equals to 45. So, we will compare negative 2 to 45. Is negative 2 greater than 45? So, it is false. So, what will happen now? It will proceed to the next element since negative 2 greater than 45 is false. The next element to be compared is 45 and 0. Is 45 greater than 0? True. So what will happen is that it will swap since 45 greater than 0 is true. Now then we will go to the third and fourth element. We will compare it. Now it will swap the third element to fourth element since 45 is greater than 11. Okay, and now next is the fourth and fifth element. Uh, okay, we will swap it since 45 is greater than negative 9. So the same process goes on until the last element. So after each iteration, the large element among the unsorted elements is placed at the end. Here. So what we can see, the largest element are placed at the end. Our second step, we will put the largest element at the end. Comparing from index 0 to 1. Again, our index 0 value is negative 2. Index 1 is 0. So what will happen now? If we compare negative 2 to 0, it will proceed to the next element since it is false. So the next element is 0 and 11. We will compare it again. Is 0 greater than 11? Okay, it is false. So we will proceed to the next element again. So that's what we can see. 11 is surely greater than negative 9. So what will happen is that 11 will be swapped to negative 9. As what you can see in each iteration, the comparison takes place up to the last unsorted element. So now, our last unsorted element again is negative 9. And that's what we can observe. The two largest elements are placed at the end. So that's our step 2. Let's proceed to the third step. We will now compare the adjacent elements. So again, we will go back from the start comparing from index 0 to index 1. We will compare negative 2 to 0. Is negative 2 greater than 0? So it is false. We will proceed to the next element. We will compare 0 and negative 9. Is, ne is 0 greater than negative 9? We will know that 0 is greater than negative 9. So what will happen now? Is that it will swap since it is greater than negative 9 so here the bottom we can see that the two elements are swapped so we will proceed to the fourth step the fourth step is that so we will compare index 0 to index 1 our value for index 0 now is negative 2 and index 1 is negative 9. So what will happen is that it will swap to negative 9. 
since negative 2 is greater than negative 9. Our uh, array now, array elements are already sorted. But our algorithm does not know if it is completed already. The algorithm needs one whole pass without any swap to know it is sorted. So it will list the sorted array elements because the elements are placed at the correct positions. So that's it. We will now see our whole bubble sort passes. So from the start, we display our initial values for our array. From the first step, we compare the adjacent elements. Step 2, we put the largest element at the end. Step 3, we compare the adjacent elements. Step 4, we uh, the uh, our array elements is sorted if all elements keep in the right order. Okay, that's it. So that's our whole bubble sort process. Okay, now that we're done already with the first sorting technique, we will now pro proceed to the second. So it's insertion sort. Insertion sort is a sorting algorithm that takes place an unsorted element at its suitable place in each iteration. Insertion sort works similarly as we sort cards in our hand in a game. So now we have a hand. So insertion sort can be best thought of a sorting scheme which can be compared to that of sorting a hand of playing card. You take one card and then look at the rest with the intent of building up an unordered set, an ordered set of cards in your hand. Now let's proceed to our example. We have here an insertion sort algorithm. So, number one, start. Number two, set list or number of array elements equals to five. Mark, we will mark first element as sorted. In each unsorted element equal to x, extract the element x. We will extract or we will separate. 4G less than minus last sorted index down to zero if current element g is greater than our extracted element which is x move sorted element to the right by one okay understandable we will end if and end four so that's the whole thing the whole process it will exit only after comparing the uh, whole elements. So after comparing the process, it will return to list. And the list is uh, the uh, sorted elements of the array already. And it will end the insertion sort. So uh, let's see. The working of our insertion sort. So suppose we need to sort the following array elements. So our initial value or elements of our array here are 9, 5, 1, 4, and 3. So that's our initial array. So we'll proceed to our step by step. Step 1. Take the second element and store it separately in key. So we will find the second element here. Okay, we found it. It's 5. 
So we will take the second element as store 8 separately in key. So the first element in the array is assumed to be sorted. So we will compare key with the first element. If the first element is greater than key, what will happen now? So is 9 greater than 5? Okay, true. So we will place the key which is 5 in front of the first element. And now our uh, first element which is 9 will be placed behind the key here. So that's our first step. We will proceed to the second step. We will take the third element and compare it with the elements on the right of it. We will find the third element here. Okay, I found it. It's 1. So we will take the third element. Uh, we will store it separately in key. So our key now is 1. So we will compare it to the elements on the right of it. Now that the first two elements are sorted, we will place it behind the element smaller than it. If there is no smaller than it, what will happen? As what we can see here in the right of 1, there is no element smaller than it. So we will place it just behind the beginning of the array since there is no such element smaller than 1. Okay, that's it. That's what we can see. 1 is placed in the beginning of the array. So that's our second step. Let's proceed to the third step. Our third step, take the fourth element and compare it with the elements on the right of it. So similarly, we will take the uh, fourth element which is 4. We will uh, take it separately in key and we will compare it in the elements on the right of it. So we will place every unsorted element at its correct position. So we will place it just behind the element smaller than it. So what will happen now? What will happen now to 4? Is there any number smaller than 4? Just behind in his right. In its right. Right side. So we will place 4 behind 1. Because as what we can see now. 1 is the least element next to 4 in his in its right so that's our third step our fourth step now we will take the fifth element and compare it with the preceding elements on the right of it so similarly we will take the fifth element we will store it separately in key and we will compare it to the preceding elements. So we will place it just behind the elements smaller than it. What will happen now? We will look for the element smaller than 3. So we will place 3 behind 1. Because as what we can see, 1 now is the least element next to 3. So as what we can see, after we place 3 behind 1, our array elements are sorted. So, that's the whole working of our insertion sort. We will see now or take a glimpse of our insertion sort process. 
so that's how it works first we, we display our initial array values or the unsorted values our first step is that we take the second element and store it separately in key our second step is that we take the third element and compare it with the elements on the right of it so the, the process will uh, stay the same it will take the comparison so the third uh, step we take the fourth element and compare it to the elements on the right of it so our uh, fourth but not the least step is that we take the fifth element and compare it with the preceding elements on the right of it so that's the whole uh, process of our insertion sort Friends, thank you and stay safe. Everyone, may God bless us upon blessings.